You're no doubt as sick as I am of hearing about asset flipping, G2A, Steam Greenlight, and everything else shady in the video game industry. If nothing else, I'm just tired. I'm tired of suggesting the same thing over and over again, yet still some don't see any sort of connection. Well, now we have that connection that was too easy to find all things considered. Steam Greenlight, throwaway games, and Steam trading cards are all being mined for revenue by hundreds, if not thousands of people. There exists a subset of websites, primarily in Eastern European countries like Russia, that have entire economies set up to promote, buy, and sell the terrible Steam Greenlight games you see every single day on the service. And this surprises nobody ever. I feel like it's my duty though to give a bit of insight into this realm that few could even fathom exists and yet still includes everything from Steam Greenlight to G2A. Now most of this is known to Valve as evidenced in their recent meetings with Total Biscuit and Jim Sterling, along with TB saying so himself. I do feel that it's in the matter of public interest though to highlight some of the things I found on these websites in just a few hours of digging. Much of this is users advocating and in some cases possibly even being involved in illegal online activities ranging from hacking to scamming and even fraud. So let's hold our breath and dive in because it's um it's very interesting. This is a member of the website advertising their ability to create Steam Greenlight trash games in roughly 20 minutes or less. Essentially, if you see a game on Steam Greenlight that is an asset flip or doesn't make any sense whatsoever, there's a pretty good chance it originated from a forum like this with a similar developer or maybe even the same one. These are the fake games that have been talked about so much by Total Biscuit, Valve, Jim Sterling, and everyone else over the past week and even way before that. These are games that are without a doubt being created for the sole purpose of being sold and mined for trading cards in websites like this. Now let's get to G2A and similar sites involved in this as well, because of course we're going to. Over the past year and a half, there have been multiple stories about game keys being deactivated en masse by developers because they were acquired by stolen credit cards or other fraudulent means. Thousands of these keys can be obtained by either using fraudulent means or by buying incredibly low and selling for slightly more. Right here, if you haven't read the text yet, is someone selling 3,000 copies of the game Minion Masters for 150 rubles. For those that don't want to do the math, that equates to roughly $2.60 in US dollars. What are the chances that those keys were bought through legal or moral means if this is the price they're being sold at? Now for those that don't want to do the math, it's hovering around 0 to 1%. And this actually stings me personally as I know the developers of Minion Masters Beta Dwarf Entertainment. I've interviewed and worked with them before, and by all accounts, they seem like good people, not deserving to be allegedly ripped off like this. So what? How do they make serious money if these keys are being sold for so cheap? These keys are sold in mass amounts for pennies to the dollar and then sold on websites like G2A for anywhere between 50 cents to one dollar a piece. When you buy 3,000 copies of a game for less than three dollars total, then sell them each for a dollar a piece, you don't have to do the math to see the incredible profits one could accrue. And this isn't the first time the same person has been advertising the selling of Minion Masters keys, by the way. This seems to be an ongoing business strategy, which I find insane. Let's talk about Steam. You know those Russian comments and reviews you see on trash games from Steam Greenlight and the Steam Store page? Once again, to no one's surprise, they come from websites like this. These websites have developers push their games to be upvoted by users in return for free keys for the game once it's greenlit. Why would anyone want such a crappy game, even if it's free? Well, it's because they want to be able to sell the trading cards for the game for pure profit. Developers love this too, because they get a cut from trading card sales, something that I've had confirmed to me by indie developers. And that's why our friend from earlier makes those trashy green light games for those sexy, lucrative cards. Who the hell runs these websites though, and how do they even get away with it? This actually baffled me, and you're not going to believe who one of the moderators for this website is. That right there is the owner of Dentola Studios, the developer that recently issued a DMCA claim against the likes of Sid Alpha and other content creators when they would accuse him of creating asset flips. This man is a moderator of a website that allows for the sale of potentially illegally bought Steam keys, fraudulent activity, hacking services, and the sale of accounts from all sorts of games. These people are not developers. They're extortionists. They're racketeers. They don't care about making good video games. They care about feeding this online economy they've created to further their own wallets at the expense of consumers, developers, and the entire video game industry. Make no mistake about it, this is a racketeering ring through and through. This website even threatens to ban developers and report them to Steam if they don't provide keys once their game is passed on Greenlight. This is a mafia-style protection racket. 
This isn't new information, don't think I'm trying to make it out to you as such, this is simply me trying to put together some evidence and piece together the puzzle once and for all as to how these people are beating the system. What we found here is that many issues in the video game industry are all connected. G2A, Steam Greenlight, Steam Trading Cards, and the like are all interchangeable and have a big overlap in the people that use them. It seems obvious, but it's very interesting to see it all play out with your own eyes. However, for the sake and safety of the viewer, I'm not going to disclose the website that I've shown you today. Many of the users on the website are engaged in illegal activity, and I'm not aware of some of their potential contacts or even the possibility of any tracking software that they could be utilizing to attack visitors of the website. So I'm urging you right now, don't visit these websites for your own safety. I feel as though even I'm taking a bit of a risk here talking about this so openly, as DMCAs on my video are honestly the least of my worries. But hey, this is journalism, so that's what I signed up for. Once again, Valve is aware of this, and I do believe they're trying to put an end to it, but they need your help too. So boycott websites like G2A, eBonus.gg, and other shady promotions that utilize keys from places like this. It helps indie developers, consumers, Valve, and everyone in between. Most of all, do not engage these people. They're better left festering in their own hallow world than if you were to get involved and drag down into it. I am Patty Jack. I'll probably have to talk about this again at some point. So until then, I'll see you next time.